want to extend to greater parts of life and the only engine that can drive us is education, not just education but the one offered in Maria Soti Educational Center. And that is why Maria Soti Girls Educational Center is doing its best to offer valuable education for the girl child. Our teachers work immensely hard to ensure we get an A grade. Not just an A grade, but a quality A. Maria Soti Girls Education Center is a private school in Elgeyo, Marakwet County, Keyo South constituency. Uh, the school is actually under the church and the Christian Foundation has actually been the, a core value in the school since the inception in 2007. The school's vision to be a leading center of academic excellence, empowering girls to realize their full potential in a dynamic local and global environment is actually the dream of the school. Our mission is to provide a holistic education uh, in a conducive environment that allows nurturing of girls to be independent, to be creative, responsive to the academic and social moral and spiritual realms of life in this country. Our, we are guided by our motto, quality, excellence and integrity. We have been able to, to produce quality grades and we've been able to produce a, a very good uh, girls who can actually fit in the globe. With all the facilities one needs to succeed, teachers hard working and grades reflecting, Maria Soti is a place for me and for you. Hi, my name is Nelly Jepkwech. I would like to talk briefly about this school. This school was founded in 2007 by the late Honorable Nicholas B. Watt in memory of his mother, Maria Soti. Maria Soti wished to enlighten rural girls at education, and since then, girls have enrolled to this school. Students in this school are highly disciplined and God fearing. We have eight classes, but currently we occupy six classes, with Form 4 and Form 3 being double classes. The Form 1 and 2 is single, but we have the capacity to have eight class, uh, double classes for all schools. In the school also, we do farming to support supplement the school. We have uh, 35 acres of tea. We have animal also, which we supplement our kitchen with milk. We also have our garden, which we plant vegetables and maize. We also have transport, where we have uh, two, two buses, one van, and a pickup. So also in the school, we have several uh, fields. We have a basket form. We have um, athletics, and we have football pitch. We also have netball and volleyball. So in the school of Maria Sote, population, we have not reached our capacity. We are calling for more parents to come in because the facilities are really good and the area is conducive for learning because we are away from any other activity. Our school takes sporting activities very seriously because we know that uh, uh, active mind makes a healthy body and we go to various competition around and of course we come back to the because our main goal is we. Really the school has variety of sporting activities and we love it because it makes us fit. It helps us discover what we are good at besides classroom activities. It also helps nurture in nurturing talents. Uh, we encourage participation in sporting and games activities and as a school we have been participating in all the games with the sporting activities that are on menu. We train students in basketball, volleyball, football, athletics, and also uh, drama, music. Uh, besides those, we have girls also uh, actively in involved in uh, club activities. In fact, so we have a strong club called entrepreneurship, uh, which has taken students uh, to US uh, uh, three times, I think, uh, since 2007. Our girls have competed uh, in what we call uh, 
Diamond Challenge Program that is uh, bringing up entrepreneurship ideas or skills in young high school uh, students. Hi, my name is Becky Cherry Teacher and I am the school's head girl. Currently, the school has a population of about 300 girls who have high standards of discipline and are very responsible. Our school is located in a very serene environment which is very conducive for learning. This is our home away from home. My role as a deputy is to ensure that uh, the discipline of the girls is uh, high and uh, I want to say that our girls are quite disciplined. Uh, in fact, uh, they make my work very easy as the one in charge of discipline because uh, we really have uh, serious discipline cases. For a few in discipline cases, we have uh, a robust uh, guidance and counseling department uh, assisted by the chaplaincy uh, that handles those cases and this has really helped us to ensure that uh, discipline cases are minimized in the school. I also want to maybe mention something brief about the performance. Our school, uh, being a, a girl school in Western Kenya, is one of the best when it comes to uh, academic performance because uh, we have been consistently transiting 90 to 100% girls to university. And these girls are joining different professional courses, both locally and internationally. Most of whom are, are now serving in the market uh, in different professions. And uh, here I must say that the school has uh, I really added value uh, to the education of these girls. Our teachers work immensely hard to ensure we score an A. We all know that scoring an A is not that easy, but with our teachers, it's like A, B, C. And of course, we shall not be forgetting our principal, who is not only experienced, but has also studied to the uppermost level. The school has been able to produce students of very great professions. E.g. engineers, lawyers, and doctors who are not only serving humanity locally, but also internationally. I'm Penina Chemopo, the school librarian Maria Soti Girls Educational Center. Our library is a free area for reading. The students can access the library from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. We have various course books, and our ratio of books is one to one per subject. The students use the library for education, research purposes, reference purposes, and entertainment. Hello, my name is Leslie, the school library's captain. Our school is composed of various textbooks, novels, documentary books, and newspapers. Our school has gone out of its way to ensure that the students get a conducive environment in order to attain their particular grades. Since the inauguration in 2017, the library has created a positive impact academically to the students. Our library collection has everything that students need for research and their study to achieve their dreams and goals. We strive for excellence and perfection in the library. And I would encourage parents to bring their students to Maria Soti Educational Center. Hi, my name is Lynn, sanitation captain. The school in general is beautiful. The green around is relaxing. The content just finds its way into the brain of the students. My name is Janet Angwell, nurse Maria Sote Educational Center. My role here is to ensure that all students who are sick are attended. And I also check for hygiene and sanitation within the school. Maria Sote is the best place to be. It has a good conducive environment for learning and I encourage all of you to bring your students here to learn and excel. 
Hello, I'm Wendy, House Captain San Diego. I'm Reese, House Captain Tanko. Heading to the dorms, our dorms are divided into houses with different cubes, e.g. San Diego and Tarkok, which are Kalenjin totem names for the region. We have a lounge room with a fireplace and enough couch to accommodate every student during discussions in late hours. Houses are divided into four into cubes. The cubes accommodate four students. In the cubes, we have a study table for late hours and early hours studies. We also have cabinets and shelves to accommodate for our various needs. To the bathrooms, we are greatly and constantly supplied with hot showers suitable for the cold region. I'm the matron. My name is Esther Maina Mrs. I've been in this school, this is my fourth year. And in this school, we have four, four houses, and each room, each house has uh, two wings. We have two cleaners who normally clean the washrooms every day, except for Saturdays when the students do their manuals. Each room accommodates four students, and they have their own cabinets where they keep their own belongings. Every evening, we provide them with hot showers, there is enough water for their cleaning, and they sweep their rooms every day. My name is Aisha Yusuf, the dining hall captain. My name is Angela Chirop, the deputy dining hall captain. We are very healthy. We take in meals which include chapati, chips, and also kuku. The cooks ensure that the food is delicious and served hot on time. On top of that, our dining hall is very special as we can all a number of activities which include church service, debate, and also entertainment. School food is not food. School food is for Maria Soti. We have qualified chef who is in charge of all our meals and our students really enjoy. We do self-service during mealtime. We do pilau every Saturday. Every Friday, it is ukali and uh, milk and vegetables and chicken every Thursday. Our food is very balanced. We include fruits such as mangoes and bananas for the improvement of their body immunity. And with all this good menu, what can really stop these girls from excelling? Welcome to Maria Soti. We are here to serve you well. Thank you.